Problem number six. This is a very beautiful problem that involves algebra and combinatorics, and also some insights from functions. In this question, we have to find the number of triples of real number a, b, c such that they satisfy this equation. The equation is given as a to the power twenty plus b to the power twenty plus c to the power twenty is equal to a to the power twenty four plus b to the power twenty four plus c to the power twenty four is equal to one. One thing we can observe here is all the powers of a, b, c's are even. That symbolizes that whatever is the value of a, b, c, their sign will always be positive. So this is some positive number. This is also some positive number, and they add up to one. And also, since they add up to one, their value must lie between minus one and one. Why so? Because if we had some odd powers, we have have the possibility of subtraction. But since these are even powers, they'll always be some numbers that are positive, and they add up to one. So we can say that a, b, c can lie between minus one and one. But let's see if it's possible or not. Suppose we have some value of a as maybe one by two. If I am raising it to power twenty, and then I am raising it to power twenty-four, it will significantly decrease. And that is same case for b's and c's. That means if I have some addition of numbers uh, of the power twenty. And then we have addition of same numbers to the power twenty four, that will be significantly reduced and it will not be equal to one. So here we can conclude that the values of a, b, and c cannot be any number between minus one and one. So the only possible cases are minus one and one. So a can be minus one or one. That will lead us to the conclusion that b and c's are zeros, and in same way we can permute them. We can have b as one and a and c as zero. We can have c as one and a and b as zero. So that will be three numbers: one, zero, zero, and the permutation. Of them will be three factorial divided by two factorial. Why divided by two factorial? Because zeros are repeated. So that will give us. And similarly, for minus one, zero, and zero, we'll have the same number of cases, and we'll get the answer. As addition of these two numbers, or the total number of cases that are possible, or in other words, we can say the total number of triplets of such kind that they satisfy this equation will be 